Was any new character in Inside Out 2 completely unnecessary? Did we really need all of them? Or cutting some out wouldn't make a difference? This video contains spoilers for Inside Out 2, so proceed at your own risk. Many new characters were introduced in this sequel, and I've seen some comments online suggesting that certain characters weren't needed in Inside Out 2, while others felt that only the original five emotions should have remained. Is that really the case? Well, first of all, you're watching Cine Lovers, and this is the best video you'll watch today. If you're excited for Inside Out 2, make sure to hit the bell for all notifications so you don't miss any videos about the film here on the channel. This movie is wonderful, the old Pixar is back, but I won't go into much detail about the film itself in this video. For my spoiler-filled review of the movie, click on the card after watching this video. When I read these comments, I thought, wait a minute, let's analyze this calmly. Whenever a sequel is released for any movie, series, or book, new characters always join. This is to expand the story, create new situations revolving around them, broaden the film's universe, and also, why not, to sell toys and other personalized merchandise. It also gives new life to the franchise, keeping it alive and potentially leading to more sequels. In Inside Out 2, over 10 new characters were introduced. That's a a lot, and I'll analyze each one. I want you to leave your opinion in the comments about whether these characters were unnecessary. Starting with Bluffy. This guy was part of Riley's favorite childhood show, and because she grew up, this memory, which was Bluffy in physical form, ended up in the vault where repressed things go. This character is meant to make you laugh, providing comic relief. He's funny, and thanks to him, we know that Riley really liked him in her childhood, but he doesn't contribute to the story story beyond that scene in the vault. However, he has a friend, Pochi. This Pochi steals the scene when she appears. Besides being funny, she's that classic character from children's shows who helps the protagonist solve challenges by delivering an object, like in Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So, whenever the characters in Inside Out 2 need something that seems almost impossible, Pochi comes in to help. This raises the question, is Pochi just a script help? Well, if she weren't there in two very delicate moments, the script would need to take another direction to help the characters. But honestly, I love him. She's another comic relief in the film, and a detail worth noting is that both she and Bluffy are in 2D. So, all the objects Pochi delivers are also in 2D, creating a mix of 3D and 2D animation in the same scene. Genius! Deep Dark Secret This guy resembles the Dark from Orion and the Dark, and Disney's idea to include this character was quite interesting. He has a more significant role than Bluffy. He appears less than Bluffy, but Deep Dark Secret's importance to the story is greater. Deep Dark Secret is also locked in the same same vault, and he literally represents that deep dark secret you don't want anyone to know, that secret kept under lock and key. That's exactly what Disney did, they put the guy in a vault, and he's the one who releases the five basic emotions from the glass jar. Plus, the post credit scene also features him. So, he was an important character, he appeared very little, but that little was a lot. Just like you're like, it's super quick, and you help me a lot. Thanks, we're together. Along with all these characters was Lance Slash Blade, a video game character who becomes Disgust's crush. He's in pixel form, like a real video game character, and shows various bugs, such as not being able to jump or get past an obstacle. Classic old games. Lance is also comic relief because the only task he adds to the character's stories is accidentally trapping several security guards who are chasing the five basic emotions. Valentina Ortiz she is the leader of the Firehawks hockey team, and everyone wants to play on her team, including Riley. Val has a good role and is quite an important character throughout the film. In the hockey crew, there are also Bree and Grace, who are Riley's best friends, and a lot of drama happens with them. 
After anxiety took control, it changed all of Riley's convictions, causing her to distance herself from her two best friends to get closer to Val and join the Firehawks. If you haven't seen my spoiler review of Inside Out 2 yet, click on this card as soon as this video ends. Nostalgia, who is considered the fifth new emotion, didn't have much screen time. She appeared a few times just to make some funny comments and then quickly left the scene. I always said there would be a fifth new emotion, and at the time, I even mentioned it would be nostalgia. The new characters are completed by anxiety, embarrassment, ennui, and envy. These four believe they are more sophisticated and better than the five basic emotions. They think they can easily control Riley and end up causing a big mess in her mind and on the control panel, hindering more than helping. But in the end, they realize they can't handle it alone and need the help of joy and the other emotions. To me, the main new characters in Inside Out 2, the ones who contributed most to the story, were Anxiety, Val, and Pochi. Those were the main ones for me. Leave your opinion in the comments about which new character you found the most amazing and which you found the most unnecessary. Since this video was full of spoilers, it's only fair for you to click here and watch my spoiler review of the movie. On this side, I'll leave another video about Inside Out 2. As soon as it's released, I'll put it here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Cine Lovers.